Hi and welcome to Cool Photoshop. Today we're going to look at vector smart objects and the things that you can do with these marvelous things. Okay, to start with, we're actually in Illustrator, not Photoshop. Um, I'm going to draw something very quickly, something which is very simple to do in Illustrator, but very hard to do in Photoshop, um, to demonstrate the advantages of using vector smart objects. Just draw a rectangle. And we'll duplicate it and we'll just copy that again a few times. Okay, um, just bear, bear with me here while uh, I do this quick little illustration. Okay, just give it a bit of a gradient, change it around. We'll lighten that up a bit. Yep, yeah, that's cool. You notice all we're really using here is rectangles. Send it to the back so we can see what we've got. That's cool. Yeah. Alright, select it all and we'll duplicate that and just drag it here. Copy and we'll give me a, give us a couple more copies. Draw another big rectangle. Send that to the back, and I'll just alter those colors slightly. So we lighten that gradient there, and we'll darken the bottom, and you'll be able to see. Okay, right. Now this is a simple Illustrator object. Very difficult to have done it in, in Photoshop, but in Illustrator it's great. What we're going to do now is we're going to copy it, and we will go over to Photoshop. Here's an image that I prepared earlier. Um, I'm not actually trying to do anything here, this is just a demonstration, so um, you know, don't worry. If I go paste, you'll see because it's come from Illustrator, it's given me the option of making it a smart object, which we will use. And it's come in, um, I can resize it, move it around, decide where I want to put it, and where I'm, when I'm happy I just press Enter, and it brings it in. Now this object, at the moment, here in Photoshop, is pixels. You can zoom in, you can't really see their pixels because it's rectangle, rectangular, but believe me, the, this is pixels. All right, there's our object. Um, I'll just free transform, make it a little bit smaller. Bring it in, and we'll move it to about there. And to show you what we can do, we'll give it a layer mask. Get our brush. We'll just brush off the bottom here. Okay, so it looks like it's behind the hill. Just using a layer mask. Okay. In fact, to demonstrate it even more, still with our layer mask on, I'll get our, get us a gradient fill. We'll change the color so that we're just going from black to nothing. And I'll give it a bit of a gradient. There we go. You can see our building sort of fades into the background. You can still see the sky through it. Don't worry about that. As I say, this is just a demonstration. But if I come down to the... Um, icon in the layers palette and if I double click that icon you will see that I get this message. It's really just telling me that we're going to go through to Illustrator to edit the original uh, vector smart object and here it is. What we'll do now just for simplicity's sake we'll just change the colors. Um, just keep our gradients as they are and I'll just just switch colors on the gradient nothing too smart nothing too amazing just orange and what's a what's a horrible color we'll select these others in here oops not that just choose something different what are we I don't know pink yeah we'll make it pink we've got an orange and pink building Cool. Now all I do is I go up to File, Save, and go back to Photoshop. 
and we'll take it back to Photoshop. It updates and boing, just like that. I've got an orange and pink building. It's still pixels now. It is pixels here in Photoshop, uh, but it is a vector image in Illustrator. Um, just for now, we'll, we'll trash that uh, layer mask and we'll have another little play with it. What else can we do here? Let's give it a drop shadow. Why? I have no idea, but let's just give it a drop shadow to show you. Here we go. It's quite a quite a hefty drop shadow. Our building is now floating above everything, but see, we can do that. Lose the drop shadow. No, we'll, we'll make it glow. We'll give it a glow. Oops, no, click on there. Give it a fairly sort of yeah, hefty glow. Okay, here we go. And now, even with our glow, um, yeah, move it around. What else? Okay, well, let's yeah, we'll squish it. We'll change it right down and have a look. Double click on the icon. There's that message again, and we go back into Illustrator. You see, we haven't actually changed the Illustrator file at all. But now we'll do something even even worse than we've done within our pink building. Let's give ourselves some really odd um, pattern fills. Here's a real strange one. Select those four there. Ugh, that's really quite disgusting, but it is a vector pattern in Illustrator. I save it, go back, wait for the update, and look at that. We've got our glow, we've got pixels, we've got everything. That is the key to vector smart objects. Okay, it, it retains the editability in Illustrator, but you can still do typical Photoshop things to it. If you're interested in Photoshop and in learning more about Photoshop, uh, I've written a book, and just for the moment, I'm giving it away free. Now, this is quite an amazing book. It's called 25 Essential Photoshop Moves. Um, there's 176 pages, full color, and it is available for free. If you want it, you can just go to www.freephotoshopbook.com.